Hi, I'm James Lamont, fellow at the Vadim Center for Rural Economic Development at the University of Minnesota Crookston. Today, we're going to talk about a growing trend, night farming. Put simply, it's increasing in popularity globally as well as domestically. This year was the hottest recorded on record. And I should take that back. In fact, this summer was the hottest ever recorded summer on record. Uh, and to combat rising temperatures, this particular practice is increasing in popularity in the United States. Um, this is not only a strategy to beat the heat, but it's also something that enables um, farmers and processors to enhance crop quality. Uh, cooler nighttime temperatures can result in better crop quality and yield. Um, and similarly, farming practices that are now underway are adding to that value proposition. In addition, there's uh, utilizing um, equipment at night and or irrigation actually increases efficiency, whether from an energy perspective or from use of water perspective. Uh, that's just because the sun's not there to evaporate a lot of the water when you're irrigating, but also as you're using many of these machines, they you, know, you don't have to use temperature controls, et cetera, during the day, thereby reducing some of the energy consumption. And then adaptation to climate change. Night farming is definitely in one of many innovative responses to uh, climate change mitigation. So in addition to uh, some of the benefits that, that rather in addition to uh, what we just talked about, I'm gonna add on to some of the benefits and examples uh, that, that we're seeing. As I mentioned, uh, efficient water use. Water usage is definitely more effective during nighttime hours, not only saving energy and water resources, but also fiscal resources for farmers. Um, crop variety, various crops such as pineapples, trees, and traditional crops are certainly suitable for night farming just because of uh, sort of the evolutionary cycles in terms of how those particular crops have evolved. Uh, research and innovation, uh, we're finding new practices and utilization of technology within sort of this night sphere. Um, if you were to think about some of the precision agriculture discussions we've had in the past, Utilizing these, uh, these tools naturally ensure that they continue to have precision agriculture, even if you can't see everything. And then sustainability. Uh, this is something nighttime cultivation that uh, certainly benefits from sustainable methods. So I suspect as temperatures continue to rise and people realize uh, savings and efficiencies and increased yields, night farming will become more popular and it'll work its way north. Thank you for joining and we'll see you next time.